been going well so far. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Okay, guys, we're recording. In your inside. Um, ba boom. Three wise men on camels silhouetted against midnight blue sky. They move across magnificent scenery, visual bow feast with inspiring music. They look up at the star. Off they go again, uneasy tittering. The wise men enter Bethlehem and make their way through the streets. The town is very full, people sleeping outside. A few lights, even this late. The wise men look up again. They mystically arrive at the stable. Either that or a plumb line from the star is banging against the stable roof. They enter the stable. Or could a shaft of light shine suddenly directly on the roof of the stable? Think about it. Inside the stable, a fairly typical manger scene. Except there is no father in evidence. Three men approach the manger. Audience shift uneasily. Past animals, no ocelots. This bit is serious, please. They approach the mother. She is a rat bag. She wakes from a lightish doze, sees them, shrieks and falls backwards off a bale of straw. She's up again in a flash, looking guardedly at them. Who are you? We are three wise men. What? We are three wise men. What are you doing creeping around a cow shed at two o'clock, eh? That doesn't sound very wise to me. We are astrologers. We have come from the east. Is this some kind of joke? We wish to praise the infant. Come on, what's your game? We must pay homage to him. Homage? You all drunk, you are out, out! It's disgraceful. Come no, on. No, no, no. Two o'clock in the morning, bursting in here with some tale about Oriental fortune tellers. Get out! No, no, we must see him. Go and pray someone else's back. Go on. We were led by a star. Led by a bottle more light. Get out! We must see him. We have presents. Out! Gold, Gold. frankincense, myrrh. Ma. Ma. Well, why didn't you say he's over here? Sorry, this place is a bit of a mess. There he is. What's myrrh anyway? It is a valuable balm. A balm? What are you giving me a balm for? It might bite him. What? It's a dangerous animal, is it? Throw it in the trough. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. It's a... Mm. No, it isn't. It's an ointment. An ointment? Look. Oh, there is an animal called a balm. Or did I dream it? Astrologers. What is he, then? Hmm? What star sign is he, then? Uh, Capricorn. Capricorn, eh? What are they like? He is the son of God. Our Messiah. King of the Jews. Oh, that's Capricorn, is it? No, no, no that's just him. Hmm. Oh, I was going to say, otherwise there'd be a lot of them, wouldn't there? By what name are you calling him? Brian! We, we worship you, old Brian, who art Lord over us all. all. Praise unto, unto you, Brian, and to the Lord our, our Father. Father. Amen. Do you do a lot of this, then? What? It's praising. No, no, no. Ah, oh, well. Well, if you're passing by again, drop in. And thank you for the gold. It's lovely. So is the frankincense. But uh, don't worry too much about the myrrh next time. <laughs> Bye. 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 Goodbye. Bye. Well, they were nice. Well, they're bloody minds, but still. Oh, look at that. Oh. Wide shot. Then wise men come back in and confer in corner of screen. <laughs> yeah. They then come forward and talk to Mandy. She gives them the presents back and receives a gift of cash. The wise men withdraw and we go with them as they walk towards the entrance or exit. They turn and we see an identical manger scene in the other corner of the barn. Mary and Joseph and Jesus with halos. Music builds as we have ethereal effect. We pan back onto Mandy and her brat. It howls. Mandy pokes it with a long pole. Super titles. Monty Python's Life of Brian. <laughs> Cut to big close-up of Jesus. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Baruch <laughs> Judea, A.D. 33. Saturday afternoon. <laughs> Shh. Shh. Two of those, please. A small one for Mitch. Yeah. No, no, don't, Brian. I'm trying to listen. His message was that there's a stoning on in town. I'm listening to this. <laughs> what was that? I don't know. But wouldn't you rather see a stoning? No, you'll have a stoning any day. Shh. 
Was not your custom. Blessed are the cheesemakers. Who? Oh, uh, the cheesemakers, I think. Oh, what? What's, what's, what's so special about the cheesemakers? It's not meant to be taken literally. Shh. It means old manufacturers of dairy produce. It'll be a good one. Shh. That's not what he's saying. I can't hear. Will you keep talking? Will you keep quiet? Shh. Don't pick your nose. I wasn't picking my nose. You were going to. I wasn't. Leave it alone. Give it a rest. Do you mind? We're trying to hear what he's saying. Don't you do you mind me? I'm talking to my husband. I'm going to talk to him somewhere else. I can't hear a bloody thing. So you swear at my wife. I asked her to shut up, that's all, so we can hear Big Nose. Don't you call my husband Big Nose. Uh, but he has could got you, a big nose. Could you be quiet, please? Did anyone hear that? I don't know. I was too busy talking to Big Nose. Oh, I think it was blessed of the Greek. The Greek? Well, apparently he's going to in inherit the earth. Really? Did you catch his name? See, if you haven't been going on, you'd have heard that, Big Nose. If you say that once more, I'll punch your face in. Better keep listening. Might be a bit about blessed are the Big Noses. Oh, listen, one more time. I'll take you to the fucking cleaners, mate. Please! Language! And don't pick your nose! I wasn't going to pick my nose, I was going to thump him. You're not going to thump anybody. It was the meat. The what? 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 Uh, what? The meat, not the Greek. Oh. Oh, that's nice. I was hoping they would get something. Because they have a hell of a time. Oh, I'll thump him if he calls me Big Nose again. Oh, shut up, Big Nose. <laughs> I warned you, I warned you. I'll slug you so hard, it'll take you till Thursday to find a piece of... Oh, come on. Listen, I'm only telling him the truth. You have got a very big nose. Look, your nose is going to be pretty big by the time I finish with you. Who it yours, then? Glass, big brother? Oh, oh, come on. oh, one more word out of you. Oh, do pipe down. Oh! oh, 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 Look, come on, Judy. Why can't they leave us alone? Oh, yes. Go on, Judy. No, don't, don't yeah, come let them push on, you around. Oh, come on, there, yeah. Roman <laughs> bastards, we don't want you here. Oh, Look, on, come on, on come on. They're only breaking come up on. a fight. What What's side on? are you on anyway? Imperialist it was a, pigs. It was a fight. They were trying to stop a fight. You were complaining. You couldn't hear. They were only doing their job. Doing their job? They're an army of occupation. Forget it. What do you mean, forget it? If you're off on that again. Look. Oh, excuse me, go on. Uh, move along. I see you well enough too, Judith. What? Oh, yes, we couldn't hear. We could hear. <sighs> what? Well, blessed is just about everyone with a vested interest in the status quo, as far as I can make out. What Jesus blatantly fails to appreciate, Judith, is that is the meek who are the problem. Yes, yes, I see. See you tomorrow. Yes, bye. Bye. Were they, were, they, were they some of your group? Yeah, yeah, the tall one's Reg. I wish you'd leave off. He may not be personally attractive, but he's the sort of man we need if we're to liberate ourselves. We should liberate yourself. Well, let's think about his sex. What about changing society? We can do that afterwards. I mean, why aren't women allowed to go to Stonings? It's positively Chaldean. It is written. There, you see, you just accept things. That's why I admire Reg. He questions things. He doesn't just... Behave like a bloody sheep. Sorry. Don't. Come on. No, not in the beard. <laughs> Psst. Beard, madam? I haven't got time to go to Stonings. The donkey's not well again. What a few stones, sir? Uh, well, they have them up there, don't they? Not like these. Huh? Look at that. That's craftsmanship. Um, do you want one? Yeah, yeah, all right. Uh, two with points and a big flat one, please. Can I have a flat one? All right. Two points, two flats and a packet of gravel. Cut to the stoning place. An official stands there with some helpers confronting the potential stony. Matthias, a large crowd, watches. 90% of them are women in beards. Around the perimeter are a few Roman troops. Matthias, son of Deuteronomy of Gath. Do I say yes? Yes. Yes? You have been found guilty by the elders of the town of uttering the name of our Lord and as a blasphemer, you are to be stoned. Oh, hello, Mum. Hello, Brian. Look, I'd had a lovely supper and all I said to my wife was, that piece of halibut was good enough for Jehovah. And she turned me in. Blasphemy? He said it again? Yes, we did. Did you hear him? Yes, we did. Are there any women here? 
Right, now I'm a first by virtue of the authority. Ow! Oh, lay off! We haven't started Come yet. on, who threw that? Come on! Who threw that stone? Sorry, I thought we'd started. Hmm. Go to the back. Oh. Ah, where were we? Look, I don't think it ought to be a blasphemy just saying Jehovah. Oh, 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 you're only making it worse for yourself. Making it worse? How can it be worse? Jehovah, Jehovah, Jehovah! Oh, 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 I'm warning you! Oh, oh, if you say Jehovah, oh, 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 ah, right, who's that? It was him. It was him. Was it you? Uh, yes. All right. But you said Jehovah. <laughs> oh, 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 right, oh. Stop, stop that oh. immediately. Oh. Now, no one is to stone anyone until I say so. Even, and I want to make this absolutely clear, even if they do say Jehovah. Oh, 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 oh. 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 Can't learn you. Yeah. Five women carrying a huge rock run up and drop it on the official. Oh, Everyone oh. clap. They start peeping underneath it. You've killed him. You've killed him. This is murder. Well, he did say Jehovah. Oh, 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 oh. She runs, the other women run to the various stone salesmen and then off after her, leaving Mandy, Brown and Judith, one or two of the older but bearded ladies behind. The Romans show little interest in the proceedings. Matthew comes into view and disappears in the opposite direction, running fast. The officials are kneeling round the stoned official. Mandy touches official two on the shoulder. Very good this afternoon. What? Really good, excellent. Thank you very much indeed. Never knew which way it was going to go. <laughs> Mandy Brown and Judith walk off. Judith glances slightly challengingly at a Roman that they have to pass. He smiles back. Hello, beautiful. Come on. What did you say? You've got a lovely pair there, sunshine. Now, look. Don't speak to my son like that, you leather queen. Oh. Cheeky daggle devil. Nice legs, though. One day... Spare talent for an old ex leper sir. Buzz off! Spare talent for an old ex leper sir. A talent? That's more than I earn in a month. Half a talent, then. No! Come on, let's have all this fun. <laughs> no! Right, I will cut the aggling. Say you start at one shekel, I open at 2,000, we'd have met at about 1,800. No! 1,750. Go away! 1,740. Will you leave me alone? Call it two. Two shekels, eh? Isn't it fun, eh? I am not giving you any money. My final offer. One shekel for an old ex-leper, sir. God bless you. Did you say ex-leper? Yes, miss. I was a leper, sir, 16 years behind a bell. I'm proud of it, thank you, sir. What happened? I was cured, miss. Cured? It was a bloody miracle, sir. Thank you. Wait a moment, who cured you? Uh, Jesus did. I was opening along, minding my own business, and all of a sudden, up he comes, the bastard cures me. <laughs> One minute I'm a leper with a trade, next moment my love you has gone. Not so much as a buy and leave. You're cured, mate, it's on you. You mean, you're sorry he cured you? No, I'm not saying that being a leper was a bowl of cherries, but it was a living. What, I mean, you try waving muscular sun dant limbs in people's faces demanding compassion. It's a bloody disaster. <laughs> but, but you can get a proper job now. Oh, sir. My family has been in begging six generations. I'm not about to become a goat her just because some long-haired country starts fucking about. Just like that, you're cured. Bloody do-gooder. Well, why don't you go and tell him that you want to be a leper again? Yeah, well, I did. I yeah. could do that, sir. You did? Yeah. It might be It might be better if I asked him if he could, you know, just make me a bit lame in one leg during a week. You know, something beggable, but not leprosy, which is a pain in the ass. to be quite blunt, sir. Excuse my French, but... Uh, oh, thank you, sir. You're a real Jew. Oh, come on, Judith. <laughs> Sorry, I was just thinking how difficult it is to please some people. That's exactly what Jesus said, sir. <laughs> Inside Brian's house, Mandy and Judith are hanging up their beards on a beard rack. Mandy goes into another room. Judith turns to Brian. Mum said, do you want to come to dinner tonight? Yes, I'd, I'd love to. 